Good. What is it? Afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. Good afternoon. We just finished. Uh, we've just finished lunch here in the farmhouse. We had uh, turkey pastrami sandwiches. Mmm, turkey pastrami. Uh, let's get that thing off of the top of my screen. There we go. Um, I did find that um, the, the little mod up there on the top of my screen, trying to get it where it's visible. Uh, if I hit the backslash, I can. Right now, here it shows every mod that has a capacity in it. If I hit the backslash, it's just going to be mods that are in operation or that I'm in. So get rid of that. It makes it go away, makes it a little bit easier, especially um, more helpful on my mod farm where I have like thousands of freaking tractors everywhere. What are we doing today? Um, well, we need to we need to harvest first. So let's we might we might end up with um, uh, front loader simulator again for part of this uh, part of this episode. So some of you made it clear that the the super long episodes weren't really working for you, and I can understand that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to still make one big long episode here. For a second, I thought my mirror was working. Uh, I'm going to make one big long episode, but then I'm going to cut it into two for you guys. I'm going to upload them same day, same time, all of that stuff, so you can just jump. And then at the end, you know where I put the the end screen. I say that wondering how many of you actually make it to the end screen, but um, at the end screen, I'll have an annotation to jump you to the next episode. So uh, let's see, G N. Ah, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and let it spit straw, because we'll just collect it and make good use of it. Go. Hire to work Alright, so now we have fertilized these fields. So we should get an increased yield off of these fields. And we're going to we'll measure our increased yield somewhere. I have my piece of paper with our yield from the other fields. Where is my piece of paper with the yield from the other field? There it is. Okay. So we're doing wheat again. We got 5,400. That does drive me crazy about that cat. The noise is constant. It doesn't. It's got a. It's got an uh, an envelope around it where you hear the noise, but it's not like it decreases. It just suddenly stops. Anyway, different story. Uh, 5,400 liters off of this field of wheat when we uh, when we did not fertilize. So we're fer we fertilized all of our fields, which cost a lot of money. As you can see, I have 54,000 down there. I had more, hmm. but I don't anymore. Uh, some of you commented on the fuel usage of the cat. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's extremely high, but it's not necessarily the fault of the cat. Um, okay, um, we're going we're gonna to get away from the cat here. There, quiet kitty. Quiet cat. Um, it's not necessarily the fault of the cat alone. Oh, good grief. Because of the manual ignition mod, the manual ignition mod increases fuel usage. Um, so I think we're suffering from the multiplier on the manual ignition mod is just making it worse. Yes, I know that cat is drinking fuel, um, but it works. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, sheep are doing okay. We've got most of a bale over there and plenty there. Uh, I've been out working this thing and we have. Yay, we have a whole silo full of more gubbins. 25%. So I waited until I had 25% this time. So yes, I know, you guys were like, really? What's, what's with the front end loader simulator? 2013, but we need to make some money, right? Someone told me I should go get the um, the muck shovel because it carries more. You know, we might just be doing that here. Make sure we get everything out of our shovel. Out. <laughs> there. Out. Let's actually look at that right now. Uh, tractors. Front loaders. So this shovel... Oh, I like how they don't tell me that. So, was it the grab fork? Yeah. Was the grab fork could uh, carry 3,000? Mm. But do I have to act. Do I have to operate that? 
Yeah, it's also $2,500. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go with this for right now. Um, and I think the cat... Nope, the cat's still working. Okay. Now, you guys were obviously... Yeah, I, know, I knew you were going to be right about the... Uh, um, the fertilizing. Because, I mean, look at that. We're already at 8,000 liters. We're well beyond what we what we got on an unfertilized field. Which is good. We're going to get the exact number here pretty soon. What I want to do once I have money is I want to... Um, I'm going to get a plow. A plow. Probably the cheap little itty bitty plow. I want to see what happens if you plow that field and then cultivate the field and fertilize the field. If that increases the... Uh, increases the yield at all. You guys might know that. I don't currently. <laughs> um, and I know some, several of you want me to get the lizard front end loader. I can't afford the lizard. <laughs> I've got $56,000 right now. Someone said bees. Yes, I think bees are important. I think we're going to definitely pick up some bees. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put them. i got to put them somewhere that... Um, that they're not going to get in the way of our silage facility here. All right. Stop this guy for a second. Because it's time to do some maths. <laughs> Let's get over to the cat. There's the cat. So, wow, we almost filled it up. So, when we fertilized, get this as a fertilized. We had wheat. 10,699. We can call it 10.7 because there's probably like little chuffs of wheat. Nope, there's no chuffs of wheat. Wow, you did a really good job there, dude. So we more than... No, we doubled it. So it's basically... Yeah, you guys are right. Yes. <laughs> you basically, we basically doubled up the, the output, which is great. great. That's good. Okay, so now where's my road train? Uh, where's my tractor? Where's, where's anything I need? <laughs> Uh, not you. All right, let's. Oop. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. There. That. Now I gotta find where I put my. Um... <laughs> I I don't actually know where I parked the trailers. That could be problematic. My other concern is with this increased yield. This field is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, I see the road train. Cool. Um, and I also I also added something else into the game. Uh, I brought back a mod from season one that I had gotten rid of for reasons of I felt like it. <laughs> That's really the reason. I do have to make an adjustment to that mod, I think, before I buy it. Um, I'll show you which one here in a moment. Well, I need to consider buying another part of our grain train here. Oh, look, it looks like blueberries. Mmm, fresh blueberries. And you can't beat that. Fresh blueberries right off the blueberry bush. Ah, you never go back to store-bought blueberries after that. Or when you do, you just frown. Same with raspberries, and blackberries, and poisonberries. Or asparagus. I can never eat asparagus from a from a shop anymore. My grandmother grew asparagus on her farm, and it was just so good. All right, get in here. Let's turn off the beacons because that's silly now. Now I could adjust the cat's fuel consumption. It's a relatively easy thing to do in the XML. I just reduce its fuel consumption. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and let it be a fuel guzzler. And then um, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're, we're on episode 6? 5? What are we on? Whatever we're on. Um, <laughs> hopefully I'll find a, a good mod for a Harvester. I've got one lined up. You guys just have to be patient. Um, 
handling things on the mod farm right now is becoming difficult. I'm, uh, I'm having problems with performance now. So I actually have to go through every single mod that I have, remove it from the farm, and put them back into the farm until I find out which one of the little scudders is causing all my performance problems. And it's actually proving to be an extremely difficult proposition right now. Because uh, I had a lot of mods. A lot of mods. Um, and then when I get rid of them, of course, then I have to put them back because, well, we have to put them back for the award show. So, there you go, guy. Off you go. Uh, not you, not you. Aha! Look at that. A quarter, a quarter of our grain train off of this field. That is just awesome. That's just awesome. So great call, guys, telling me to fertilize. I think we'll make our money back on the fertilization pretty quickly. I'm also thinking the bees are going to go over here. Uh, where, where, where? Right along here. Kind of in this little area right here. I think that's a good spot for bees. So oh, let's not get in his way when he comes, comes back. All right, there's... Oh, good grief. There. Good. Turn that off. Nope, not you. Not you yet. Yes, you. Uh, oh. I stirred it up. Turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Let's go check our mods. Tractors. Aha! So I brought the farm all 450 back. Now the problem is, one, it's $32,000, which is a lot of money. It's going to basically terminate most of our balance. But... The farm all 450 will be able to handle our our lawn mowing simulator device. It is loud though, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make some edits to it, just simple volume edits, so it's quieter. Because right now it'll overpower my voice. Um, no matter what I do, I'd have to yell into the mic, and I don't feel like yelling into the mic. So we're not going to buy it this round. We'll buy it next, maybe next time. Uh, what else? I think right now, though, we're going to go check out placeable. You know, you'd think, uh, no, not mods by machine type. Ugh, animals, no, placeable objects. There we go. $20,000 for a bee house. Uh, we can be square about it, right? <laughs> if I buy two of them, it's 17, 000, we'll have 17000 left. It's a little bit of operating capital. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's buy at least one bee house. We're gonna put the bee house. What do we say? Like that? No, we'll do it like that. Put it like right there. Actually, you know, yeah, let's buy two bee houses. Let's go ahead and get two bee houses. Like that. There we go. And let's go check out our bee houses. Yeah. Bees. Cool. So one of the things I noticed was my general downwards downward income when I'm when I'm at 120 times speed waiting on these fields to grow off screen because I just stand in one place and I I play things on the on my DS while I'm waiting on fields to grow. Uh, great, he's already full. This is this is going to be a problem. Um, we're going to do harvesting simulator today, apparently. Um, but what I noticed was the uh, the drop in my my money on an hourly basis will more than likely be covered by those bee houses, those two bee houses. Come on, dude, make the turn. Ninety-eight. Oh, come on, don't do it. Don't don't fill up right. Oh, you jerk. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fine. Let's go drive on the crops. Come on. Come on. Oh, bugger. Ah. Oh, now I'm causing a grain train crash. Oh, well. Good enough. <laughs> Man, it's got some force to go out that far. Oh, well. Whatever. Now, someone said that I could put, if you think back to season one of the mods of John Deere, 
the John Deere combines with the um, the really big draper head and the really big corn head. Someone said I could use those on the cats. And that might be something that I might do. Now the reason I don't want to use the John Deere, if you remember, is it is abysmal when it comes to... Um, oh, we're full, really. Booker. There. Um, it's abysmal when it comes to hired help because they can't they don't actually do a very good job uh, of piping out. All right, yeah, yeah, I'll get out of the way. I'm sorry. So they don't do a good job of piping out. When they hit that 80% mark, if you remember, they put the pipe out, you drive underneath it, and then the pipe stutters in and out. So it has really abysmal hired help work. So I don't want to use the John Deere's. They have a better fuel consumption rate than the Cat, but I can't, I can't drive beside them and handle the uh, the pipe out. So that for that the cats are well in excess better. However, the heads are smaller on the cat. And in order to compensate for that, if I can use the head off of the John Deere, that would be a huge bonus. Now someone else said, several people have said, uh, use the four key for matching speed. If I had the ES limiter, I could use the four key. And the problem is the Linden tractor is faster than the cat at four, and the Kirovitz is slower. <laughs> um, the Kirovitz actually is closer to the cat speed, but if I hit four, the tractor, the tractor and combine won't line up properly, and the combine will stop piping out. So I'm kind of hamstrung. I can't actually use four. I have to use gentle throttle movements or whatever. I probably could reach over and get my controller, but really lazy. Uh, I'm really struggling with the controller because of the complex keystrokes needed for simple tasks like starting the engine and uh, turning on the profi hoppers mower and things like that. Much more complex than I thought. I don't really like it. So There you go. Uh, we're going to have quite the full uh, grain train here, which is good. We need the money. Alright, you can make it back now, that's good. And then we'll have to slurp up all of this good, wonderful straw stuff. And actually, I had I had to sit down and think. So I said I was gonna do just season one mods, and some of you were saying um to just throw the Season 2 mods in because there's some really good Season 2 mods. And I really did have a think about it, and I really kind of struggled with it because there are some really great Season 2 mods. Um, you saw some of them this week with the the Keen's the thingamajiggy, the, the corn sower. It's a really good mod. But it's season two, so I wasn't going to use it. Um, the NI modding bale pack, again, season two mods, so I wasn't going to use it. So I was thinking about it. We're going to stand on our tractor and wait for this guy. Um, and I think I might, from time to time, bring in a season two mod, just because it makes sense in the in the farm. Um, we can't afford the kins, obviously, because it's a $120,000 sower, and we have $16,000. Um, but it would, it would help our farm, I think, in the long run. I really need to get over there and handle the um, silage, but I can't because this guy fills up in a pass and uh, three quarters or seven eighths or something like that. Pain in the butt. I need to collect eggs too. I am thinking that um, I'm, I'm going to test the Ford tractors. Um, I'm. I'm, cu I'm thinking the Ford tractors are causing some of the game lag that I'm experiencing in my mod farm. If they aren't, I might bring the Ford tractors into this game because they're cheaper. They perform the actions we need them to perform. Um, and that is just helpful to me at this point. Alright, so I think if I drive on top of this, then I just have to figure out how far back do I need to go. There we go. 
just kind of have to eyeball the volume going up. Oof. It's just a lot more wheat. <laughs> now we spent um, a good 20,000 or so in total fertilizing in the, in the pellets and the... Oh, my, did I get too far ahead of him? I did. Now we're in this stage. Okay, that's all right. So I'm thinking I need to recoup that cost pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I'm going to... I'm not going to get a sprayer or a plow until I've recouped my cost. And by recouping my cost, I know that I'm about double up my, my harvest with the fertilizer. So whatever amount of money we get on harvest, I'm going to divide in half. And once I've recouped my, uh, what, what, you don't, am I too close to you now? Is that what the problem is? What's going on? Oh, for the love of Pete. What is going on? Oh, okay, let me get, here, pipe out. Woo! 98%, oh great. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go dump this load. So I'm going to go to finances. We have no harvest income. So 50% of our harvest income is going to go towards what we paid for um, machinery, which was, I don't know how much yesterday. I'm going to have to go, go pull that. Actually, I can just do that by hitting P. <laughs> Uh, machinery, fertilizer. So I got this one, so $10,000 on that. Well, 9800 Plus probably another, I'm going to call it 3000 in. We'll say it's $12,000. So once we've recouped $12,000, then I think I feel safe getting, uh, looking at a sprayer. Uh... Wheat is going for 283 at the mill. There's a great demand on corn. I don't have any corn, so. So 283 at the mill. That doesn't mean I'm not going to buy anything. I think I'm going to buy another vehicle for the grain train. Though it, we're starting to push up against the power limits of this tractor, I think. We're going to gonna probably have to switch to the cure of it if we have too many more cars onto the grain train. Man, that cure of it's slow. <laughs> Alright. Let's get in here. Let's get our finances up. Alright, empty out. Oh, of course it's emptying that way, that's right. Eh, ah, whatever. <laughs> uh alright. Do, do, do. Lovely. Try to make it so that one's not going through the wall. Eh, whatever. Alright, so almost a full grain train. What are we going to come out with? 12,000? 11,6. So, almost halfway there. So, we're probably going to recoup our cost here on this field of the fertilizer. When we recoup the cost, I think cost-wise, the plow is going to be our better bet. I'm thinking. I think I'll buy a plow just to do the plow work and see if that increases our field's yield. Uh, yeah, we'll plow it, fertilize it, Cultivate it, sow it. And then... Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Slow down. I'm going as fast as I can. Got it floored. Woo, going as fast as I can. woo -hoo. One thing I do have to say, that, that, that John Deere Drive Green thing that I did a Let's Play Spotlight on, one thing I have to say about that is the tractor actually would hit bumps and bounce as it drove across the field. 
I have the smoothest fields on the known earth. <laughs> Woo. And I have stuff everywhere here. Oh, 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 no, 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 don't you dare. There we go, perfect. Ah. Uh, Uh, harvest Tractor Simulator. So I'm not going to plow this big field. I want to see if there's a difference in the behave in the the yield, any appreciable difference. So I won't plow the big field. I'm just going to plow the little field. Um, we'll probably also save the plow in case I want to expand a field or draw some fields together. Are you done yet? Jeez. All right. Now, will he make it all the way back? He won't make it all the way back, will he? We've already dis determined this. But I think he stops just short. So I'm going to wait for him to cut in a little bit. And then we're going to go and try to park him, this tractor, in a spot that we can just intercept the... Uh, kind of go in here. The nice thing is with the length of our little grain train here, we should be able to hit there. Okay, good. Turn that off. Alright, back to this guy, finally. Ugh. And away we go. Remember the keys again. That's that. That's that. Okay, there we go. Ooh, let's get this done. Or at least work it towards the right direction again. The nice thing is the silage is really um, uh, paying our wages and animal maintenance. So uh, it's it's worthwhile right now. I think once I have that farm all tractor running, that'll be nice as well. It'll also let me get rid of that Linden tractor. It's going to be a long time before I can pick up any of the other mod tractors because they're a hundred and something thousand dollars. Like the, uh, uh, the New Holland, that's what, $169,000? At that price, I'd rather save my money on that and go get the field. Lovely. Let's see if our trick works, if our, if our cat hits that grain train at the right time. I hope so. Man, it would it would be nice to buy a nice uh, nice lizard loader, or even the. Um, that's one reason why I'm thinking that if if the Fords aren't causing any leg issues, if I absolve them of the crime of causing leg, I'll uh, think about getting that Ford front loader tractor and the bigger bucket, because it'll just be easier and multi-purpose. So you guys are going to have to let me th know what you think about the uh, episode being cut in in half. Uh, it, uh, presuming it doesn't take me any more time than it takes me for an hour episode, which it's not going to really take a heck of a lot, I hope, I think. Is the cat going to get there? Oh, it looks like he might get there. What do we think? Is he going to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Oh, booger. We're going to have to go deal with that now. <laughs> We're going to have to drive on the crop again. That gun. It was a good idea. Poorly executed. <laughs> Is anyone really shocked by that statement? Good idea, poorly executed. Hey, wait, 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 stop, stop. Oh, that gun. Oh, 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 now we're all screwed up in our tow bars again. Can you, can you, 
Oh. Here, get, get, no, no, stop. Ah. Ah, there. Uh, you're just gonna make me drive on it. Fine, whatever. Empty. Empty faster. Nope, nope, straight. You're making me drive on the grain, you fool. Ah, what's a little bit of rubber with your cereal in the morning, right? <laughs> uh, that first car is almost full. What's that? Go. The problem really is... I need the hopper to be like... A thousand liters bigger. That would be perfect. If the hopper on the cat was about a thousand liters bigger. Bye bye. All right, let's try to get this grain train positioned properly. So we're definitely going to make our our fertilizer money back on this and. Um, Go get ourselves a plow. <laughs> I know some of you are screaming right now. You don't need to plow. It's not going to do anything. I realize that might be true, but still.